Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a, well it's actually a refilm. I already filmed this but I hated the quality. Um, it just didn't look great so I'm refilming this. Um, and I'm going to be unboxing the new uh, Jeffree Star Manny MUA collab. Now the first round is already sold out but Jeffree said on his Instagram that he's going to be restocking in early May. So I was fortunate enough to purchase the collection during the first round because I have thumbs of fury, you know. Fingers of fury. I was on it, okay? So I got my hands on it and I'm going to unbox it here. Um, even though I've already, I already know what's inside, I've already swatched it, but I'm going to do it again for you guys out there who haven't got their hands on it yet and want to know some honest opinions. So keep on watching if you want to know what I think. All right, so first let's talk about this packaging though. All right, matte black, very different than normal Jeffree Star. I think this is some sleek packaging. I know there was some um, controversy with the emblem, but whatever, I don't care. I care, about the, I care about the product. I don't really care about the packaging, even though this is very sleek and very expensive looking. And um, I believe this kit retails for $50 on his site. You can also purchase it on Beautylish, I believe. Alright, so this is the sleeve and it just slides off, and this is the actual package right here. You can see the Jeffree Star emblem and the Manny MUA emblem. And I actually watch both Jeffree and Manny. I know there's been a lot of controversy with them and their channels and what they say and do, but the men can do their makeup. I'm, I'm sorry. I look past everything else because I don't know them personally, but they can beat their face and honestly I kind of like their honesty in their videos like Manny always says if you don't like my video don't fucking watch it like he's right why are you gonna watch a video you don't like and then Jeffrey he's a different he's a different duck okay if you don't like ducks or them being different don't watch his channel I swear people just didn't involve themselves in things that were gonna make them unhappy there would be no controversy in the world I swear to God especially on social media but anyway back to the box sorry if you just heard my phone go off all right so you open it it's it closes and opens with a magnet and this is the inside you get the two liquid lipsticks in on shook and daddy and then you get the highlighter and it is contained in this holographic back which is once again really sleek and pretty trendy i like it but let's get into the products so the liquid lipsticks come in this packaging um, the component looks like the regular Jeffree Star, except it's got the new emblem of Jeffree Star and Manny MUA on it. And it's also black, of course. But as far as size goes, they're the same size. And on the top, you get the names. So this is Daddy, which is one of Jeffree Star's dogs. And I'm shook because Manny, like, always says I'm shook. <laughs> um, so let's open them. And I'm also going to show you... I, what I would consider very similar product um, to Daddy um, that I already had in my collection. So if you can't get your hands on this one and you own the lipstick that I'm going to show you, maybe you can get away with not having to purchase this one. But let's do some swatches. All right, so Daddy I would describe as a cool toned brown. And it says in the box you need to shake it, okay? So the first time I opened these, they were a little watery, but of course it says right there, shake well before use. All right, so I did that. Same component, just black. Same doe foot applicator, which is one of my favorite doe foot applicators because it like cups your lips. So let's swatch it. Now, in my initial review that, you know, I kind of messed up on, and that's why I'm refilming it, I said that the consistency um, of these lipsticks is a lot different than the original Jeffree Star lipsticks, and I still agree with that. These are a lot lighter in feeling on the lips. It kind of feels like you're not wearing anything. I would even say, um, if you have tried the Wet n Wild cat suit, um, how you can put it on your lips and it dries down to a mat, but it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything, that's what these feel like to me. So I'm not sure if um, Jeffree Star changed his formula or if he just had to change it for these shades, but I actually prefer this formula over his original formula. And this color is super cute. I've tried it on. Um, this kind of makes me look like a corpse. 
just because of my skin tone but if you're lighter than me and if you're darker than me um, I think it will look really really nice but if you're my skin complected and I'm very yellow <laughs> um, it just makes me look like something from The Walking Dead like a cast member from The Walking Dead and not one of the humans so I do like this color. I do plan on using it um, to highlight the inside of my lip. If I'm wearing a brown lip, then I can have an ombre brown lip. But I wanted to show you the lipstick, lipstick that I feel is quite similar to this shade. And that's Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sepia. Now the only difference um, with this shade is, once again, it's a cool tone brown, but this one is slightly more on the yellow side. But once it dries down, honestly, I don't think you can tell. So, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Sepia, which is still wet. And then this is Daddy from Jeffree Star. So, at the end of the video, everything will be dried down and I'll be able to show you conclusively whether they are dupes or not. So, the next liquid lipstick is the shade I'm Shook. And I would describe this as a corally pink. And this looks really, really great on me. I love it. I think it will look good for any skin tone, light or dark. If you are deeper complected than I am, it's going to show up a lot brighter, honestly. So it already shows up pretty bright on me. So if you're into bright lipstick, especially for the spring and summer, this is definitely up your alley. Same doe foot applicator, um, as I said, same component. And these do not have any smell to them. So I love Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, not only because the quality is great, but because they smell like root beer, and then some of them smell like um, watermelon or something. Like I think his summer collection smelled different. I can't remember, but um, yeah, these don't have a smell, but just like the Daddy shade, I'm Shook, goes on very, very pigmented, very lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips, like I said before, and it dries down to a matte finish. So. That's this shade, and the closest thing I have in my collection is from the Wet n Wild um, Liquid Catsuit Collection in the shade Give Me Mocha. Now this is actually a little bit more brown, but if you mix it with the um, coral shade, which I will show you. All right, so this is the combination of Coral Corruption and Give Me Mocha from Wet n Wild. So depending on how much Coral Corruption or how much Give Me Mocha you use, you can definitely achieve this I'm Shook color. And now that these two are dry, this is once again the shade Daddy, and this is Sepia from Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, so for the highlighter, once again, same black packaging, and it's got this really pretty holographic looking packaging. I don't even know how to describe it, but I like it. And once again, you have the Jeffree Star and, well, the Jeffree Star and the Manny MUA symbol and then on the top just like all his other skin frost you have the shade eclipse now i'll say I, i'll tell you right off the bat i do not like this highlighter um i think the formula is a lot drier than um his other skin frost and i'm a fan of creamy highlighters and this is definitely not creamy so but let me show you what it looks like on the inside same um size as the Regular Jeffree Star Skin Frost, huge mirror, lots of product, and of course they have the collab um, stamp in the center of the Skin Frost. And let me just swatch it, finger swatch it for you. It is dry. You can't even see it. Or, you know, can you? If my camera will focus. It's right here. Can you even see that? Let's do, let's do another swatch. And I'm digging. You guys see, I'm digging into this. So I'll do it on my knuckles. That's all you get. I mean, if you're into natural looking highlighters, this one is up your alley. But I did apply it to my face the first time I filmed this video and it went on really, really chalky into my skin. I used it dry. I did not wet it. Um, but all of uh, Jeffree Star's other skin frosts, they're really creamy. It's like they melt into your skin, so you don't even have to be wearing foundation in order for them to look good. With this one, 
it it looks like chalk on my skin and it's not because it's light it's because the consistency is super super dry so that was a letdown as far as this product goes because I love the shade the shade is like a pinky ice pinky champagne color but the texture the formula something went wrong with the formula when um they were making this shade and let me just let me just show you pigmentation this one versus king tut so king tut is one of jeffree star's original highlighters and this is bomb i waited so long to get this and as you can see i have i have definitely um been using it so as far as consistency goes this is a lot creamier filling you get a lot of product on a finger swatch like an insane amount and that's just on my finger so <laughs> it goes on so creamy it blends into your skin it's the most amazing formula for a highlight that I've ever tried and that's what got me hooked on Jeffree Star Cosmetics was his skin frost but this Eclipse shade yo this is a letdown okay I'm not saying um that uh, I'm never gonna purchase his skin frost again. But um, if I had known that this formula was gonna be different than his other formulas, I probably would have just bought the lipsticks. Um, so if you are um, purchasing this um, collab bundle because of the highlighter, um, don't. Definitely not worth it. I mean, the two lipsticks separately are $18, so I guess you could, you know, save a little bit. Well, you won't really be saving, but you'll get a highlighter for like half the cost because his usual highlighters, I believe, are $26. So you'll be saving a little bit of money, but um, the highlighter is nothing to rave about. I know a lot of people have been saying it's amazing, but in my opinion, it's dry and chalky and not like his original formula. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope to see you in the next video.